do a little bit of a smudge first. Just to ensure that what I'm doing and what I'm saying is, is going to be done in a good way. My English name is Victor Lyon and I'm the cultural resource coordinator at the Friendship Center and uh, since it's, uh, it's officially summer now and uh, 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 what do you call that Aboriginal day or indigenous day has uh, come and gone I wanted to speak a little bit about uh, feathers because a lot of times people always associate feathers with uh, First Nations people and uh, there's a lot of uh, misconception about our relationship with, with the feathers and things like that. So I just wanted to uh, set some things straight. Not that I'm an, not that I'm an, uh, uh, an official spokesman of anything to be able to know anything about this, but I just want to share a little bit about what I've been taught and the things that I've been, been, been shown through uh, different visions and dreams and things like that. So, uh, recently my wife and I, we would uh, travel to the bush and uh, we'd put food out. Um, scrap uh, food that we didn't, uh, couldn't finish or weren't able to consume and uh, we'd put these out for the, for the animals. And on our trip, trips out there, um, one of the things we found was all these feathers. Um, these are all eagle feathers. Migazi Miguin, we call them Miguin feathers. Um, we got an assortment of different types of feathers here. This type of feather is near the tip of the wing before the, the pointer feathers, or as we call them, Okichita feathers. The, the ones that steer his, uses to steer his, uh, his flight. Uh, I was even fortunate, fortunate enough to find the, uh, a tail feather. It's the center one, I believe. It looks pretty straight. Uh, we also found several uh, mid-wing feathers that, that are kind of in the middle of the wing. Um, they support the, the flight also. One of the things we found too was some uh, new growth feathers that were, that were, that were uh, left there. Even some little bit uh, smaller ones too. So all these are, are eagle feathers and uh, we, we, uh, we honor these feathers. And try to use them in our, in our lives in a good way. So um, our relationship with, with Migazi is, is, is not one of worship or anything like that. We're, we don't worship the eagle, we don't worship the, the feather or anything like that. Um, our relationship is based on love and uh, there's a legend that goes along with the, with, with the, with the eagle and how he uh, willingly sacrificed, was willing to sacrifice himself in order to try to save us, save uh, mankind, Anishinaabe. And uh, that's where you find the, in, the, in the seven teachings of love, it's so usually represented by the eagle, Nigizé. And uh, that's what these feathers represent to us, is, is, uh, is love, you know, it's the creator. And uh, when we find one, it helps us to remind us remind us of, our, of that love that the Creator has for us and that all of creation has for us and that we should have for each other also. Um, when we find an eagle feather, um, oftentimes we will uh, take tobacco, uh, 
most of us that I know of always carry tobacco and we'll take an offering of tobacco a little bit of tobacco and we put it around the feather we say a small prayer thanking the eagle for leaving that feather there for us or, or however we wanted to however we wanted to, to voice that that thanks for that feather and we trade trade the, the tobacco for the feather and we leave the tobacco and take the feather um, there's a small clip of my wife uh, Clean that. Actually, we found two feathers, and on our way out, we found this is the second one we found on the way out, and this is the one that appears in that little clip about her uh, giving thanks for that for that feather. I didn't think of it at the time when we found the first one, this one. That, that I should have recorded that, but I was busy putting food out, so I didn't have, have the, the, the presence of mind to think about grabbing a camera and, and doing that. So anyways, um, the other thing I wanted to sh talk about feathers is that uh, there's, there's, some, there's a real spiritual connection between uh, feathers and, and uh, Anishinaabe, and it, it, uh, there's even a scientific, scientific fact that, that has been uh, recently, uh, within the past few years, recently come out to support the use of feathers also. And um, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, when the eagle, we all know that the eagle is, it's been said numerous times about how the eagle is uh, one of the highest flying birds, especially in this part of the world. And when the eagle flies that high up into the air, up into the upper atmospheres and soars and rides the wind, the, the heat currents up there, on these on these feathers, on these feathers and on his wings, he collects negative ions up in the upper surf, upper upper atmosphere. He it gets loaded up with negative ions from the atmosphere up there. And as as people as a Anishinaabe and human beings of this earth, um, sadness, hurt, anger, all those kind of feelings that we that we have and we express, um, where our body is actually being surrounded and pumping out positive ions. So one of the things that our ancestors have taught a long time ago is to smudge a feather and to brush it over top of a person when they're feeling sad and when they're feeling down. And uh, when you're doing that, when you're doing that act. What you're doing is this feather, as I said earlier, is loaded with negative ions and your body is covered in positive ions. So when, when you're doing this, you're dispelling, you're pushing away the positive ions off your body and thus it makes you feel better. And that's the love that this, uh, the, 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 the eagle has for us. That's the gift, one of the gifts, many gifts that he gave to us. And there, there's many different teachings about what the feather represents and what the feather means. Uh, one uh, simple one is that this whole rib here represents your life. So when you're given a feather, when you've been found one, or when you found one, or if one's been passed on to you, this here would represent your life from the time from the time when you were a child, when you had no hair and you started having those frail beginnings, and then as you grew older into being a child and into a young man. Uh, and each of these little ribs here that go off to the side represent our adventures and our, our things that we, we go through in life. But even though they go off to the side, they always come back and we always come back and try to follow that same thing all the way to the top. So that's another, that's another simple uh, teaching about the feather. And there's many different teachings about the feather. I can't, like I said in the beginning, I'm not one that knows everything. I just know a little bit. And I want to take time to share that because of, uh, like I said, it's uh, Aboriginal Day had just passed, and uh, we're all stuck inside. And uh, sometimes we 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 go out, we go outside nowadays more often because of uh, our certain certain circumstances, and uh, we might come across feathers. And I don't want anybody to just to pick them up, and and uh, and uh, I want them to be able to do it in a, in a good 
in a good healthy manner. So miigwech for listening and uh, we'll see you again another time. Awesome, miigwech.